Okay. Uh, this is not speaking of any specific day, such as the day of the Lord, when he says you will withstand in the evil day. It's not speaking about a specific day, but rather it is speaking of each and every day that one may face the evil onslaught of the devil and his forces which if you're in the ministry, it's almost every day. Somebody is coming at you with something, okay? If you're in church and you've got a friend that's nagging you about an issue, it may be once a week, whatever. But in the evil day does not mean a specific day. Paul is speaking about the general principle that you are going to face the devil at any given time, and that is the day that he is talking about, okay? For the Christian, every day may be the evil day, or it may only come occasionally. However, if Paul is writing to all Christians, and he is, then all can expect the evil day to come, okay? But once again, there's a problem. That if you don't know your Bible, you really don't have an evil day coming against you because you're completely unschooled in what you're talking about, and you may be the evil day for somebody else because you have something in your head that you are telling people that isn't true, and they know it's wrong, and they have to stand against you, okay? You need to know the Bible both from your own perspective and for the benefit of other people. And if you have a difference in doctrine, that has to be resolved by you sitting down and studying the issue together. Okay, it's not going to happen on Facebook. I learned that very quickly on, all right, is that when you say something on Facebook and somebody disagrees with you on that, you're not going to solve it by giving them a logical analysis of that word. You know, Sergio found that at one time. Sergio one time, uh, was having somebody email uh, a question about a point of theology. He said, I'm just going to prepare this. Give me all the information you can. I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to send it to him. And he, I said, you're wasting your time. And he said, no, I'm going to convince them. And he, it, it was like a five-page summary of the proper doctrine, which was laid out. I don't remember what it was. But what did he do? He spent just an immense amount of time putting it together, appealing to the heart at the same time as giving the right doctrine. He sent it to the person, and it wasn't, it wasn't two minutes later, the guy came back and he said, oh, I just disagree. He, he didn't have time to read the first two paragraphs, okay? He wasted all of that time, okay? You, you need to understand some people will not yield because one, they're not willing to know the word, and two, they know the word better than you, even though they don't know anything about the word. You just have to get used to it. It's hard to know who and when, but you can eventually sense when a person is just going to be completely resistant to anything except hearing himself speak. Okay. Anyway, so um, uh, for the Christian, I've said that. However, if Paul is writing to all Christians as he is, then all can expect the evil day to come. We must be.